Hey, my YouTube friends! Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to take you with me to shop at the Real Real. You know, for Chanel and Hermes, some of the designs are not always available in the boutique. So that's why consignment stores like the Real Real give us the opportunity just like shop for the designs we love. And if you don't mind paying a premium, you might be able to score some of the really popular items, such as this mini Lindy, at almost double the price. As you can see from the price tag, this mini Lindy in the pink color swift leather is priced at 11,000 US dollar. However, if you're lucky enough to get it directly from your local boutique, you only need to pay around 5,800 dollars. Originally, I thought this ridiculously high price is caused by its color. Obviously, pink color from Hermes is always super sought after on the secondhand market. Therefore, that might explain why there's a price premium. So I also checked out this orange color mini Lindy. And guess what? <laughs> it's priced at 11,500 US dollar, even more expensive than the pink color mini Lindy. So I took a closer look and realized that this orange mini Lindy is in club month leather, which is more durable. And I guess like that explains why it's more expensive. This bag is also newer from the 2020 collection with a Y stamp and is also labeled as a smart investment on Real Real's website. Well, you'd better hope it's a good investment if you're spending this much money on a mini Lindy. Speaking of investment, I thought a neutral color might hold its value the best. Okay, I have to check out this black mini Lindy right next to this limited edition Birkin. Guess how much is this black mini Lindy? Yes. It's even more expensive at 12,000 US dollar. This bag is also an editor's peak from the 2020 collection and it's in the most popular Togo leather, which explains why it's double the price. Okay, enough about Mini Lindy. Let's move on to my favorite bag, the Birkin. To my surprise, in the Palo Alto store, they actually have a lot of Birkins in different sizes. For example, this Birkin 30 in the Cremont leather. I then looked up and spotted two cute baby Birkins, one in the gold color and the other one in the rose purple color. You all know how much I love Birkin 25. This is my favorite size and look at this gorgeous gold color in the Swift leather. It looks so buttery and luxurious. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with my Birkin 25 in Togo leather. And both bags come with the gold hardware. Before I thought the Swift leather will be super delicate and prone to scratches, but today when I actually feel the leather, I feel like it's pretty strong. I kind of regretted not bringing my Constance Mini because that's also in the gold color. I do want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of, you know, same color on different leather. But I do believe Swift leather brings out the color more. And I always say no to a Swift leather whenever my essay offered that to me. But I think going forward, I might say yes. Anyways, it's time to review the price. And yes, you're looking at it right. It's priced at 24,000 US dollars, more than 1,400 more than what you pay at your local or mass boutique. Do you think it's worth the money? I mean, yes, if you pay the premium, you can get the bag directly from the real real without any hassle, right? You don't need to have a purchase history. You don't have to build a relationship with the essay. But do you really think it's worth the money? Please leave your comments down below. All right, moving on to the Birkin 25 in rose purple. This is one of my favorite pink from Hermes. And I think this bright, vibrant color goes perfectly with the palladium hardware, especially during the summertime. And I'm so glad that I get to see this color in person before I add it to my wish list. In my honest opinion, it is a little bit too bright for an everyday bag. I think it would be a great addition to your collection if you already have like five or six Birkins or Cali. But if this is your first Hermes bag, 
and with a 22,000 price point between this one and the gold color Birkin 25, I would definitely recommend Birkin 25 in gold because that's more of an everyday bag. And here comes the side-by-side -side comparison. The rose purple is definitely more catchy, especially when you have all neutrals in your collection. The rose purple would definitely add a pop of color to your whole outfit. Okay guys, now imagine that you can pick one from these two cute Birkin 25s. Which one would you pick? Are you more adventurous and pick the rose purple in the Togo leather? Or you will pick gold which is super classic and will never go out of trend? Please leave a comment down below and let me know. As you can tell, I definitely had a lot of fun doing window shopping at the Real Real. And you know what? It was quite a nice shopping experience, although I didn't buy anything. How I wish we can shop like this at our Hermes boutique. You know, like shopping, picking bags from the shelf, trying out different colors, different sizes, carrying like three Birkin 25 on my hands. This just felt like a dream. My only regret is that they didn't have any Cali bag in the store when I visited. How I wish I can try it on and compare that to my Birkin, because I'm seriously debating between a Birkin versus a Cali for my next quota bag. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you know, window shopping with me at the real real. If you like this type of video, please give me a thumbs up and I might do more shopping videos with you guys in the future. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!